Welcome to the project demonstration of smart extension box. So as we know that the extension box consists of, the advanced extension box consists of voltage uh, fuses. So whenever the voltage is uh, below or above threshold values then automatically the load which was connected to the uh, extension box will be isolated directly whenever the abnormal conditions. And in this situation we are also uh, controlling these two loads from anywhere in the world using the blink application means there are two uh, sections one is voltage monitoring continuously on the blink cap and also we are going to controlling these devices from the blink cap and we are going to sending the notification alerts to the blink application using the IOT means whenever the abnormal condition is occurred so we set the voltages for 180 below abnormal and 240 above is abnormal in these two situations these two devices will be off state and also we are going to sending the notification alerts to the blink application at the same time we can control the same uh, devices using the blink application right so this is the blink application so before switching on this cage we need to enable the hotspot in your android phone or else iphone in your, if you want to enable the hotspot in your iphone you need to change the iphone name also to the name to project 4952 without any space without any capital letter i am repeating that p r o j e c t 4952 and a password should be 129 so enter these credentials and enable the hotspot in your phone so now i am enabling the hotspot in my phone right I enable the hotspots with project 4952 and along with data also that's very important uh, right I enable the data also now so as of now the system is off state so that will be identified in your phone like there we can see that uh, red mark at this section log into the blink application just download the blink legacy application from play store and uh, log into that with the given credential same credential which we provided to me there we can see this uh, application which we developed already and now uh, plug in this okay so here the let me explain the power flow 230 volts given to the socket and uh, this regulated power supply board will provide us the 5 volts constant outputs this is a 2 pin is provided as a 5 volts constant outputs and here the input is directly to the devils input parallelly we provided that to mm -hmm. this load so here we are going to control the two loads one is 230 volts operated and another is transistor through dc fan and here we interface the connections of uh, for voltage variance we attached this to the a0 pin of our microcontroller and c3 for relay and b0 for our dc fan so and here we are using a single channel electromagnetic relay which is operate voltage of 5 volts and the whole system will sending the uh, data through IO, to the IOT application through this ESP8266 module and here this one is a transistor board so just in order to on and off this fan as we know that transistor will act as a switch so now I enable the hotspots so before switching on the kit I am repeating I have enabled the hotspots and data and I am switching on the kit right so after on and off two times of this LED, it's on nothing but voltage is normal. See, I am decreased. So it's 180 below. So as we can see that same. Mm -hmm. So we got the low voltage alert. Mm -hmm. And now when we set the voltage to the normal, so it is normal now. So we can see the same green light indicated over here. And for the above, 240 above, mm -hmm. then high voltage, same alert and normal now right so this is normal so i want to control the devices so light so when we controlling that if anything ma ma malfunction is going on check that now it's everything is okay and after you can restart this system if any malfunctioning if the system doesn't receive any commands from you just now like this and now right after restarting it will work if it works directly not a problem if it not works just restart the motherboard now so both devices on voltage is normal so let me go with the low voltage so automatically the two devices will be off and we'll get the alert notification here and coming to the normal 
so either previous was off on then make them off again you can on so individually we can control this devices so this app can be accessed from anywhere in the world so that we can see the voltage levels when it is normal then we can control the devices so only thing is provided we need to provide the hotspot with a mentioned name and the password and data then log into the application we can access these devices from anywhere in the world right thank you